NVC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Andrew, it feels like we're just about a, like a week or a couple weeks away from like peak yeah. leaf changing season. I'm waiting for those leaves to change. Well, the higher elevations are getting very close to peak. I think some of the mountain summits are pretty much already there here in the Champlain Valley, about a, maybe two, three weeks to go, All something right. like that. We're holding out for it, but we'll take the warm weather in the meantime for sure. Exactly. Yeah, very enjoyable. So if you're heading out to do some leaf peeping this weekend, both days looking great. We're definitely a little warmer than average, so some pretty comfortable conditions. We're dry both days as well. Hard to ask for much better for early fall. Looking gorgeous. So uh, here's the 12-hour plan in the Champlain Valley. You can see we start things off in the lower 50s, rise into the 60s, and eventually we reach the low to mid-70s by the mid part of this afternoon. So a nice day is on tap. We'll have sun mixing with high clouds through the day today. Some of that cloud cover is on the periphery, the outer edges of the remnants of Helene, but we're not going to be content with any of the moisture, any of the rainfall coming into our region. We're looking dry for the next few days. The reason for the dry weather this weekend, even into early next week, is a persistent area of high pressure off to our north and east, keeping the nice weather in place. Here's the remnant low of Helene, now into western parts of Kentucky. The storm definitely weakening uh, this morning, and it will continue to do so this weekend. But there's still some lingering pockets of rain, especially right near the Ohio Valley towards Cincinnati. Even some lingering flash flood warnings into parts of western Virginia. Virginia and Western North Carolina, where the rainfall totals have been downright impressive. Some amounts closing in on 20 inches from Helene out that way. So we're dry region wide this morning. Good amount of clearing into the northern Champlain Valley, Northeast Kingdom. We do we do have a band of clouds coming into the Adirondack Park right on into southern Vermont. And you can see uh, we do have some reduced visibility this morning due to fog uh, into parts of the Adirondack Park. Also the Northeast Kingdom in particular into central Vermont and then right near the Connecticut River. Basically the usual spots seeing the fog this morning. Even a little bit of the Champlain Valley seeing some of that fog. Temperature wise we're in the 40s to lower 50s so definitely a cool start. 40 in Saranac Lake. Here's the plan through the day today. We'll have sun mixing with high clouds. Again Helene is well off to our south and west. Not expecting any showers or wet weather but we will have some of the high clouds Mixing with intervals of sun the rest of the morning and into the afternoon. And then uh, overnight tonight, clouds do increase. So I think we may have a mostly cloudy start to Sunday. I'm hopeful that we'll have more intervals of sun mixing in for the afternoon hours of Sunday. There may be a spot shower or two that gets close to the southern Adirondacks or southern Vermont, but I think our region stays dry all weekend long as we look ahead to Monday. Looks like another nice day with a mix of sun and clouds. So I want to show you the additional rainfall expected from Helene this weekend and into Monday. It's really close to the Ohio River Valley and into parts of uh, Virginia, the D.C. area, seeing a couple more inches of rain. But again, it stays well off to our south and west as we move along. So a nice forecast this weekend and into early next week. Monday and Tuesday, mostly dry, low to mid-70s. A cold front will bring a round of showers on Wednesday, but we do have sunshine coming back for Thursday and Friday. See how we cool off, though? Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, temperatures back in the low to mid-60s.